Kamala Harris's wavering stance is likely to become a major issue for voters who value integrity and authenticity in leadership. To the public, her shifting positions on pivotal issues like energy, law enforcement, and health care suggest a lack of commitment to fundamental principles, such as economic freedom, national security, and limited government. At the same time, Adam Schiff's defense of Donald Trump's rhetorical pivots may resonate with voters drawn to figures steeped in political maneuvering, rather than the solid policy foundations. You're a co-sponsor of a House bill right now that would ban fracking. Are you disappointed that she supports it now? Uh, well, look, you know, I favor uh, banning fracking, and I strongly believe that uh, the the pathway to um, attacking climate change uh, is to uh, wean ourselves off of fossil fuels. Um, but look, I'm not the vice president of the United States, and I do think that when you are representing the whole country, you have a different perspective. Uh, as the vice president pointed out, uh, her values, though, have remained consistent, and that is she is a champion of uh, moving ourselves uh, in the renewable energy direction. Uh, her role in passing the Inflation Reduction Act, the most aggressive attack on climate change in our history, I think speaks for itself. But, uh, um, but look, let's, uh, let's compare uh, a situation where uh, someone changed their position four years ago to Donald Trump, who's changed his position four times on abortion in the last 48 hours. Uh, that, to me, is uh, you know a much more significant question, particularly as when you're talking about abortion uh, and you're talking about a, a, a right and freedom of the American people to be so pandering, wishy-washy, flip-flopping, uh, you know, so uh, dis disrespectful of the rights and freedoms of millions of American women, uh, and do all that in a single day. Uh, that's the contrast here. Uh, and and what's more, Dana, that's a values issue. That's a values issue uh, when on something like the, the right to an abortion, you flip flop uh, every 15 minutes. That shows uh, essentially he has no values. Harris's inconsistency on key topics reflects a deeper issue, the absence of a firm set of values. Voters often prioritize a leader's consistency, especially on policies that shape the economy, individual freedoms and energy. Harris's changes on fracking, policing, and health care seem driven by political expedience rather than conviction. Critics argue that she supports whatever policy advances her career, a charge that strikes a chord with those who view career politicians as disconnected from the daily struggles of average Americans. Her notable shifts on matters like fracking, the Green New Deal, and national security signal to many that she's aligned more with the whims of political elites than with the working class, particularly on energy policies that have direct impacts on jobs and economic stability. Furthermore, her endorsement of cutting police funding appears especially problematic, given the rising crime rates, which many link to the weakening of law enforcement. Harris's frequent changes of stance reinforce the perception that she isn't guided by personal convictions, but rather, by a desire to conform to political pressures. This perceived lack of authenticity undermines her image, casting her as a politician willing to wear any mask to further her ambitions. Schiff's defense of Harris, particularly his claim that her values have remembered consensus, smacks of cognitive dissonance as he attempts to reconcile her inconsistencies with a narrative of steady leadership. Such rationalizations signal a broader loss of individual integrity, a retreat from accountability. Schiff's remarks, instead of addressing Harris's own policy reversals, shift the spotlight onto Trump, using his shortcomings to deflect criticism of Harris. This tactic, excusing one leader's flaws by pointing to another's, undermines genuine political responsibility. As political discourse drifts from substantive policy debates, toward personal attacks and deflections, the public grows more cynical. A constant cycle of changing stances and evasion erodes trust in the system, leaving people feeling alienated from leaders who appear more focused on power than on principles. When leaders fail to demonstrate consistency and transparency, they lose credibility, and voters may begin to feel as if the choices available to them in the political arena are shrinking.